Dr. Quinn Rogers. I'm here in Maseno, Kenya, at Maseno University with some of the top students at University in Africa. Here they are. Uh, and we've been working really hard on something we want to share with you and get your thoughts on. It's the five most dangerous trends of ICT for D in Africa and the five greatest opportunities. We'll share them with you and I want to hear what you think. Let's talk about privacy and cybercrime. Whereby privacy, somebody hacks into your information and uses uses the information for maybe malicious gain, something like that. And cybercrime we have whereby people we have hackers. They hack into systems uh, for selfish gains. We talked about uh, cultural degradation where people are hooked into gambling, pornography on the internet, and also the said aligning of cultures for social behavior on the internet. Thank you. Um, in electronic waste, we find that devices such as computers and RFIDs implants emit uh, hazardous uh, emissions such as radioactive emissions that may cause diseases in our bodies and are hazardous to our health. We also talked about over-dependency to the ICT, like you believe everything is one click away and you can't do without it. Information overload is a problem with ICT because at the moment we can access infinite information and spend so much still digging into more information without sparing time to use this information. All right, and then we also have, it's not all negative, there's also the five greatest opportunities that we came up with. The first one is educational resources. Here it's whereby you can learn, uh, nowadays you can learn about anything, almost anything in the world that you want. Uh, for example, uh, I'm a statistics student and in my department we have uh, a software known as CAST whereby, okay, its full meaning is computer assisted statistics textbooks, whereby you can learn about anything you want in statistics. Next one we are going to talk about health improvement in that uh, ICT has improved uh, health maybe services. Now in terms of health services, we are talking, we are talking about the expert system that can be uh, can decide to provide the adequate information so that the uh, a given problem can be a, a diagnosed such that the doctor can be able to actually give the correct treatment to the patient. Thank you. Human beings have become free. You are free again. As in the tribal barriers have been broken, the international barriers have been broken as far as information is concerned. Now I can live in America when I'm in Kenya. I can communicate with my friends over there, even in India when I'm physically in Kenya but virtually in India. So the tribal crashes that have been happening in Kenya are going to be over with the emergence of the online uh, socialization sites like uh, Facebook and Twitter. It is taking as far. As, a, as far as being free is concerned. Okay, ICT actually has happened in so many ways. That is, it has assisted us in promoting the business process outsourcing, whereby people will be able to work from homes, actually will reduce the pollution in our environment. Thank you. ICT has also helped in saving time through multitasking. You could be in one office and want to do some tasks. So by having them online, you can use your computer to, to maybe do some several tasks. All right, so there you have it, the five most dangerous trends in ICT for D in Africa, the five greatest opportunities that we came up with here in Maseno. I want to hear your thoughts now. Do you agree or disagree? Do you think there's some other ones you'd include? Do you think some of these ones are ones that you wouldn't include on the list, and why? So one more time, I want to give a thanks again to the excellent students here at Maseno University. Thanks to the EduLink program, the ACP secretary of the EU-funded EduLink program. And we'll give a big cheer to them and a big cheer to everyone out there. Thank you very much. That's good.